Everybody, welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from Exterra Oak Mountain. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Master Spas, S Fuels Go Longer, Hoka Let's Fly, Forum Smart Swim Goggles, Zoot Sports, the original triathlon brand, Premium Plus Sports, and of course, our Challenge Athletes Foundation. Our next guest, probably the most dominant guy on the Exterra Tour, his name is Arthur Serrier. Look at that, yeah. huh? huh? <laughs> you're, you're nearly French. I'm nearly French. I like it. <laughs> so how are you doing, Arthur? It is a treat. I've been reading about you for a while. You uh, had like one of those epic seasons in 2022. How, how many times have you lost in the last two years? Um, I'm pretty good right now. And I'm happy to be on the U.S. for the first World Cup uh, on the U.S. on Xterra. I think I take some time to tape a bit and have a better shape than my last two races. And yeah, I'm ready to did some race like, do some race like past year. Yes. Well, so last year, you win Xterra Worlds. You win... Uh, IT Worlds. Uh, yeah. You European, got a three-time yeah. world champion, four-time uh, European champion, 21-time Xterra winner uh right 21 2021 2022 cross try world champion what haven't you've done it all right yeah i don't realize everything like when you are like racing you just focus on racing and you don't focus on what you ever what you did your resume yeah. you don't think about your resume <laughs> yeah uh and yeah i'm pretty happy to to this to everything i did uh, because it's a lot of uh, work for me. Yes. Because I think I'm not like a talented athlete or something. Uh, really? You like don't that. think you're a talented athlete? No, I work a lot. And I think I'm the perfect example of working hard and have some resilience can uh, lead to high level. Yes. Yeah. So you're, you think you're a blue collar guy. You're, you work hard. Yeah, I it, am. <laughs> so I'm guessing after you win Xterra Worlds, which was, you know, uh, in the year before, you got second, right, at yeah. the Xterra Worlds to yeah. Hayden. So when you win Xterra Worlds, does that change things for you in terms of sponsorship, appearances, that type of thing? Uh, not so much. Like, I was expecting for, like, yeah, more sponsorship, more things like that. But I think I'm a man just focus on <laughs> training and racing. So... I don't care about these things. I just care about my level. I care about racing. I care about being in good shape. So maybe I don't, yeah. You don't go out and pursue yeah. that type of, if, if somebody calls you up and says, I'd like to sponsor you, you'll talk to them. Yeah, But you're sure. not out calling people. Yeah, I try, but I think- It's not, not your skill set. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so you have an agent who represents you? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet? No. What the heck are you doing, man? Yeah. You're the best in the world. You, yeah. you, need, you need more sponsorships. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't see a lot of sponsors on that no, shirt. It's what, just like, yeah. <laughs> Funny but do you, do you like that? Do yeah. Do you like the fact that you, you can sort of do whatever you want and you don't need to worry about sponsors? Or do you uh, want sponsors? No, I think I definitely want some big sponsor because okay. for me it's like important to can continue to train well, to have some money, and to don't think about uh, all the financial aspect of my sports. Right. And I'm a man who earn well his life because I won pretty everything. So when you won races, you have price money, you have some price money for right. sponsor and everything. But um, I think I need something like a fix, you know? Yes. Yes. I, th I think, yeah, I, yeah I, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. Yeah. We, we, need to, we need to get you taken care of that. We're not for talking no, about my partnership. <laughs> no, no, you're, 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 you, you didn't go to school to eat your lunch. You're, you're, you're making, you're making, a, you're, you're the best in the world. Yeah. You're the best in the world. Yeah, right? Is there a question about that? No. No, you're the best in the world. <laughs> Is there anybody here on, on a given day, people can beat you if there's a mechanical. And you had a mechanical and a visa, and you, I, I almost feel like you went to Taiwan thinking, how can I mess this up? I think I'll go there three days beforehand. It'll be 300 degrees. I won't really prepare that well. <laughs> and I'll get my butt kicked. Yeah, it was exactly two days before the race. <laughs> <laughs> you showed up two days yeah. before the race. I was on Taiwan, I think. You were heat trained. Where were you coming from? No, I'm coming from Montpellier. The winter. No, uh, yeah, and I, I, I didn't do anything about heat training because I was already like totally exhausted about my winter preparation. But... I went to Taiwan just for racing to represent Xterra, Xterra Lunch World Cup, yes. lunch something new. Yes. I am the world champ, so I, I have to go. Right. So I go, 
It was like a bad idea for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was but, a nightmare from the point you, when you got yeah. off the plane, as soon as you got off the plane and you felt the heat, did you go, oh, oh my, my God. God. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what was I thinking? Yeah. I can fake my way through this. I'll be okay. No. No. No, no. no. no but yeah, that's like important to, I think, lose some race sometimes. And yeah. It fires you up. You, yeah. you sort of need that. Yeah. You learn from those. Yeah. When you won and just won, 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 like I used to do like the past season, you don't, uh, you don't ask any question about your shape, about everything. Sometimes you, have, you are like on a really bad shape. And even if you win the race, you don't think about your bad shape right. or what you can do for improve and be better on the next races. And these two first races of the of this season um, ask me a lot about preparation, about what I have to do to try to be not on my best shape on every race, but on a, like a good shape. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. yeah, that's important, I think, to learn to lose a bit, even if I learn, uh, uh, even if I, I lose a m pretty more race I want, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you you can be motivated by yeah. the fact that you didn't come home with the with the prize money, and I mean on the right day, uh, like here on this course. Is yeah. this have you raced here before? No, no. this is the first time. Yeah, it's my first time. First time. Yeah. What do you think of the course? I just uh, did the run this morning, and I think it's like flat. It's like something good because there are a lot of corner. It's like. You start it and you say, oh, come on, where's the end of a single track? Come on, where's the end of a single track? And yeah, I think it's something like really punchy, really good for me. Um, I enjoy a lot this kind of race. I'm looking forward to see the bike. I think it will be something like in the same spirit than the right. run. Yeah, with a lot of corner. Yes. And it's something we didn't have really, um, we didn't have tracks like this in Europe because we have like more mountains, more mm. things like that. So it's more about big uphill, big technical downhill. And here it's something different. And I'm really happy to have something different. Yeah, it's technique. It. Yeah. It's, 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 cur it's cornering. It's yeah. Yeah. It's not technical. It's like, um, yeah, it's cornering. It's like skills, but yeah, different skills, different but, skills. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But is there anybody here who can beat you on the, on the day? Oh, pff, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I lose in Taiwan. I lose on uh, Ibiza, and I lose some race in my careers. Yeah, I think there are some strong guys here. Uh, not all the guys are here, but I think some of the strongest guys are here. So yeah, I'm looking Fine. forward to have a battle. Yeah. For me, it's more important to like have a good shape. Mm -hmm. feel good during my race and have a good battle with other guy than just winning the race without compete with anybody or something. Right. Yeah. Um, when you when you race in was was the race against Hayden was yeah. that and at Maui? Yeah. So that was the last world championship at Maui. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, that was for me one of my best races on my career so far because we have like a big battle and everybody like just think about the current level we can have in next era because I battle really, it's like 20 seconds between Aiden and me. Yes. We did the bike together. We did the first run just maybe 30 seconds. He was just maybe 30 seconds yeah. ahead of me. And on the last run, we, we, were, we were just, I think, 20 seconds all the way long. So yeah. That was wonderful and I'm pretty happy. I'm more happy with a second place behind Hayden than just winning and the race. Another race, yeah, another yeah, win. Yeah. You, so you like the battle. Yeah. The I battle, like, going against somebody like Hayden who just won Ibiza, won the European Open. Yeah. Right? Uh, not Hayden, I'm sorry. Uh, Hayden. He you won uh, uh, Yokohama. Yeah, Yokohama. Yeah. He just won Yokohama. Yeah. Beat a great field there. He yeah. beat Gustav and Christian and everybody else. Yeah. And he's obviously done great in Super League. Yeah. Having a guy like that and knowing you can go head to head with him, yeah, but win or lose, yeah. you love that. Yeah, I love that. And I just saw Alistair. Yeah. Yes, Alistair just did. I'm sure you saw that. You yeah. saw Alistair won yeah. in the UK, yeah. and you're like, <laughs> I sent Alistair a note the yeah. other day. I said, Alistair, you just won in the UK. Yeah. I'm at Oak Mountain. Yeah. Come on. No. You would have loved that. I would love to have 
somebody like Alistair on World Championship, yes. definitely. Because for me, a World Championship should be something really... You want to beat the best. Yeah, you, are, you have to beat the best and be at your best. So, yeah, I want some guys like Alistair, like, yes. I don't know, Aiden, if he wants to come back. And yes. Yeah, uh, some other guy from ITU Racing. But I think all guys from ITU Racing can be like... Uh, Aiden or Alistair or uh, Gomez or right. Frodeno because they are like superstar and yes. first guy. Well, and it like, helps the sport. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 Extra England was like a small event and just having <laughs> Alistair, it's like everybody talk about Extra just because Alistair comes, win, and yeah, that's wonderful for. Well, we've seen that like when Javier Gomez came and won Xterra Worlds a number of years ago, and then you have, you know, Flora Duffy, and yeah. you, you see. That that it transfers over the the the, yeah. the strength that you build from this yeah. can take you to. Have you done road? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, a bit. Uh, French Grand Prix. Yes. Yeah, uh, but I wasn't a good swimmer like right uh, now. You. Yeah, and I play. But you're a better swimmer now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, when I'm good shape, I'm like I think pretty good swimmer. Okay. Yeah, when I'm bad shape, it's like the first sport. The where, first yeah. go <laughs> is a swim. Yeah, and. Uh, I really want to try some alpha man distance. Because, oh, you do? Yeah. I did uh, Kashkai in Portugal last okay. year. Yeah, but I, 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 I had COVID and everything. So, oh. yeah, that was like not a, bad, not a good race for me. It, yeah. But, yeah, I definitely want to have a look on it and try to maybe take a year to learn about... Well, the time trial position yeah. is a different thing. Yeah, and after that, try to maybe, I don't know, um, I don't know what I can expect for this kind of race. Right. Yeah. I saw Bradley Weiss is pretty good right now on half and full distance Ironman races. So, yeah, maybe I can do something like that too. Well, I don't know. It's a tough balance. Yeah. And so, has your bike shown up for this race yet? Sorry? Is your bike here? Your, 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 your race, the bike thing you need to ride on Saturday? Uh, no, it's not, <laughs> <laughs> it's not here yet. <laughs> yeah, I have long travel and I think right now it's on the way to the hotel and I can just take it and have my like little ride this afternoon. Oh, and you'll without, be fine. Yeah, I think it will be fine. And uh, if it's not fine... Uh, there's, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. <laughs> but you thought you'd be fine in Taiwan too. You know, yeah. Showing up three days beforehand in 300 degree heat. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what do you look at, you, like you said, Xterra Worlds where you got second, you yeah. look at that as one of your best races. Yeah. And, but when you won this last year, was it, was it off the front by yourself or was it a battle? Mm, that was a bit different, but the race I did. I, uh, we come together and transition to with Ruben Ruzafa and Arthur Forissier and after that I know I'm like a speedy runner so I take, runner. Yeah, I take the lead I think uh, 1k after the beginning okay. of the run course and I just push because everybody uh, just on the side say yeah it's just uh, 30 seconds back. I say what the <laughs> hell 30 <laughs> seconds back so I push I push and uh, I think it's like for me and for the sport something good because it's World Championship. So yes. I push until the line and I can show to the other guy I can be really fast. Right. So, yeah. And I think I won with more than two minutes and a half. So it wasn't so, 30 seconds. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's something you like, never want to trust yeah. the people on the side of the road. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 So this season will be all about World Cup. Try to do as many of these as you can. Yeah, I will try to. I think for me, it's the most important race for me will be World Championship. Yeah, on Molveno. Yes. Because. Well, you certainly know the course. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it's something like will motivate me so much, and I really want to be on my top level at these races. Right. Yeah, I'm better at the end of the season. Yes. Uh, than on the begin, and yeah, I will try to be good on each World Cup, including this one. Mm -hmm. Uh, after that, we will have Czech Republic, Germany. Yes. I don't know if I will go on USA Championship. Yeah, that's pretty close to the other yeah. worlds, right? I have a second altitude training camp to do, and maybe... Is may Malvano's at altitude? No, but I... You do altitude yeah, training yeah, camp, yeah. yeah, yeah. And maybe I can come to the US, do the race, stay in the US, because the race, uh, I think it's something like 2,000 meters. Elevation, yeah, 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 and, US, uh, and stay for do do, uh, do my training camp, altitude training camp yes. in the US, and go back in Europe. I don't know yet. Yes. I have to fix it. Uh, yes, maybe, figure it out. Yeah, a, a bit. Now, are you later. you coach yourself, or you have a coach? I have a coach. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like an 
ITU racing man. Okay. We will take a retirement, I think, uh, maybe several years ago. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so you said you do altitude camps. Do you do that a couple times a year or once? Uh, twice. Twice a, a year. year. Yeah. And, and where uh, do you go? Uh, Font Romeu. Where? Font Romeu. Oh, okay. Font Romeu. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> where everybody went. Like, okay. uh, yeah, we have like... Uh, Paolo Sousa group. Oh, yeah. His whole group, uh, yeah, okay. Um, Joel Filio's group. Yes. Yeah. Lucy, Charles just coming down before PTO. Right. Uh, from Formers. Yeah, it's like a really... The best place yeah. to train, yeah. I think Livigno and Former are, for me, the two best places to train in altitude. I think Sierra Nevada should be good, too. Yes. I, I never try it, so, yeah. It's expensive, I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just a little bit. But, it, so, have you raced in... Um, in you haven't done... Uh, Beaver Creek or any of the no, other races? Never. No, 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 okay. No. It's my first Xterra on uh, U.S. soil besides yeah, Maui. U.S. soil, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. And how long will you leave right from here back to Europe? Yeah, I will back to Europe on Monday. Okay. And I will be on my home, I think, on yeah Monday, Tuesday or maybe Wednesday because I, <laughs> I have a connection very <laughs> like. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. I think uh, I heard something. Yeah. <laughs> you rented a car. In Birmingham, yeah, but not Alabama. Is that was that you or somebody no, else? No, it's not me. Okay, yeah. one of the one of your pro brethren rented a car in, in Birmingham, England. So he uh, showed yes, up. Yeah, that's me. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> it is you. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. So when you showed up yesterday, yeah, and you went to the car rental. Yeah, I have just a little checking on my reservation. I think two hours before to be here, and I say, yeah, it's like really weird this address is really weird and i google it and i say oh man it's like birmingham england so i can cancel without any fee so it's okay for me i rent another car and right now i'm here i'm waiting <laughs> for my bike and that's all <laughs> that is hilarious i will race on xterra italy just yeah. right after oak mountain so yes. i will be coming back in europe on monday i will be home on uh, tuesday or wednesday and the racing on saturday on italy in Italy. Yeah. So it's in, like, in case you rent a car in Morocco or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, and so is the goal, you're obviously the goal is defend your world title. Yeah. Go get that. And just the, the transition from when you were younger to Xterra, how did, how did that come about? Uh, Were you, did you have a swim background, a bike background? No, bike I have like a mountain bike background. A mountain bike, okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, not, I, I did, I think, many sports like yes. uh, judo, gymnastics, mm -hmm. things like that. But no something like swimming, running or bike. So no endurance? Or, yeah, no endurance. No yeah. endurance, okay. But I start mountain biking really early. Yes. Like uh, 10. So ten, 10 years, years old. Yeah, ten years old yeah. or something. Yeah, when so. you're you know how to suffer when you ride a mountain bike. Because yeah. you're up at you know, riding at altitude, you're climbing straight up. Yeah. That transfers to swimming and running. Yeah. You have to learn the technique, yeah. but you know how to hurt. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you you don't know how to hurt. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like to set yourself up to hurt more. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I will try it. <laughs> now who do you are there other pro athletes that you follow? That uh, you that, that you that are a athletes that you uh, admire, other pro athletes that you look at them on social and, and see the stuff they're doing? Um, admire, admire me or who I admire? Who you admire? Uh, yeah, there are plenty. I think uh, all the legends like Alistair, like uh, Jan Frodeno, yes. yeah. like, yeah, guys like them, like, yeah, they won everything, like Ironman, Xterra, yes. Olympic, ITU. And I think for me, the best years for triathlon was during Galister and uh, Ravi Gomez. It's oh, like, such um, a great rivalry. Yeah, I think for me, that's a different period, different style, but the best racing. Because they raced every weekend. Yeah. The same guys. Race, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know how many times they race against each yeah. other, but I bet it's north of 100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's a lot of racing. We yeah. think of, I think of, you know, my era, Dave Scott, Mark Allen. Yeah. But, and they raced probably maybe 30, 40 times, something like that, but nothing like those guys every single weekend. Yeah. That's like different right now. Men's take more time to have a good preparation. I think the level is a bit higher than before. Right. And yeah. It's, it's deeper. Yeah. There's it's more competition deeper. than yeah, ever yeah, before. Yeah. There's no question about yeah. it. 
And so you want to be one of those guys that's, hey, I, I want to dominate Xterra, yep. and why not jump into a 70.3 and, and try some other stuff as well? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's going to be something good. Yeah, I will try to. I think I have to work hard because it's not exactly the same, but right. I used to do some race like two hour and a half, three hour races. So yes. yeah, it's pretty close from um, 70.3. And with my coach, we we work on speed, we work on things like can be really helpful for half Ironman or Ironman distance. Right. We are just not focus on Xterra. I'm training like a super sprint guy sometimes. Right. So yeah, we, we, did, we do so much different things and it can be really helpful for the rest of my career to, to have that not balance, be yes. limit by my speed or something, you know? Right, yeah, you always have to have the speed. Yeah. The speed. You, you, if you have the speed, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I uh, think so. <laughs> that's the first thing you lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it hard for you to stay motivated? Like when you have a season like you had last year where you dominate everything, is it harder to go, okay, well, I, do I really need to train that hard to, to win all this again? Or is it like, hey, I won, but I could have won by more? No, for me, like, I enjoy so much what I do. So, yeah, I still motivate. So not, nothing changed from right. the other years. Yeah, I train, I think, more than the other years. So, yeah, <laughs> that's maybe why I'm not in perfect shape on the beginning of the season, because I overtrain a bit. Right. So, yeah. It you try to keep that under control. You yeah. try to keep from training yeah, too yeah. much. Yeah. So fun to meet you, man. Yeah. You're, uh, I have a feeling we might be doing this a few more times over the years. <laughs> Trey, congratulations on everything you've accomplished. I yeah, can't wait to watch you. your race. If your bike shows up, it'd be great yeah, to watch I, your race it, this weekend. It, it will, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure yeah, it will. Definitely. Thank you for taking Thank time. Thank you. A pleasure. This young man, something's pretty special. I think we're going to be chatting with him a bunch over the next number of years. Again, we are at Xterra Oak Mountain. Can't wait to watch the racing this weekend and see... Arthur, put it down and beat everybody who's here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye.